India's LCH Prachand helicopter and Turkey's T-129 attack helicopter are two advanced attack helicopters that have been developed to meet the specific needs of their respective armed forces. Both helicopters are designed to perform in demanding combat scenarios, but they each have unique features and capabilities that set them apart. This comparison will explore their design, performance, and suitability for different operational environments. The LCH Prachand, short for Light Combat Helicopter, is developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL. It is specially designed for high-altitude warfare, which makes it suitable for operations in the mountainous regions of India. On the other hand, the T-129 Atak is a Turkish attack helicopter made by Turkish Aerospace Industries TIE. It is based on the Italian Agusta A-129 Mangusta and has been adapted to meet the needs of the Turkish Armed Forces. When comparing speed, range, and maneuverability, the T-129 Atak has a slight edge with a top speed of 278 km per hour compared to the LCH Prashan's 268 km per hour. The T-129 Atak also has a longer range, with a combat range of 561 km, whereas the LCH Prachand has a range of about 550 km. In terms of maneuverability, both helicopters are highly agile and capable of performing complex aerial maneuvers, but the LCH Prashan's design gives it an edge in high-altitude environments, making it more suitable for operations in mountainous regions. Both helicopters have advanced avionics systems, which include navigation, communication, and targeting systems. The LCH Prachan has a glass cockpit with multifunction displays that provide the pilot with critical information. It also has a helmet-mounted sight, which allows the pilot to aim weapons by looking at the target. Similarly, the T-129 Atak has modern avionics and electronic warfare systems, including radar warning receivers and infrared countermeasures to protect against enemy missiles. In this area, the LCH Prashan's helmet-mounted sight gives it a slight edge in targeting efficiency. In terms of weapon systems, the LCH Prachan carries 20mm cannons, 70mm rockets, and air-to-air -air missiles like the Mistral. It is also equipped with anti-tank guided missiles such as the Helena. The T-129 Atak, on the other hand, carries a 20mm Gatling-type cannon, 70mm rockets, and anti-tank missiles like the UMTAS. The T-129 Atak can also be equipped with Stinger air-to-air -air missiles for aerial combat. The primary difference in their weapon systems is that the T-129 Atak has a stronger focus on anti-tank and armored target capabilities giving it an edge in ground attack roles, while the LCH Prachand is versatile, capable of both anti-tank and air-to-air -air combat. In terms of combat focus, the LCH Prachand is designed to excel in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles. Its ability to carry air-to-air -air missiles like the Mistral makes it effective against aerial threats, while its anti-tank missiles and cannons enable it to engage ground targets efficiently. The T-129 Atak, however, has a stronger emphasis on air-to-ground combat, particularly against armored targets, due to its potent anti-tank missiles and cannon. This gives the T-129 Atak an advantage in ground combat scenarios. Regarding high-altitude operations, which are crucial for India, the LCH Prachand is specifically tailored for such environments. It can operate at altitudes up to 6,500 meters, making it well-suited for missions in the Himalayas and other mountainous regions. The T-129 Atak, while capable of operating in high-altitude areas, does not have the same level of specialization for extreme altitudes as the LCH Prachand. Thus, the LCH Prachand has a clear advantage in high-altitude performance. Key design features of the LCH Prachand include its narrow fuselage and tandem seating arrangement, which help reduce its radar cross-section, making it less detectable by enemy radar. It also has stealth features, such as infrared suppression systems, to reduce its heat signature. These design elements enhance its survivability in combat. The T-129 Atak features a robust and compact design with advanced composite materials that provide strength and durability while keeping the helicopter lightweight. Its five-blade main rotor system enhances its stability and maneuverability. The LCH Prashan's stealth and high-altitude design give it a slight edge in survivability and specialized missions. In terms of pilot visibility, the LCH Prachand has a clear advantage due to its glass cockpit and large, multifunction displays, which provide pilots with comprehensive situational awareness. 
The helmet-mounted sight further enhances visibility by allowing pilots to target weapons simply by looking at the target. The T-129 Atak also offers good visibility with its advanced cockpit design and avionics, but it does not have the same level of integration with helmet-mounted sights as the LCH Prachan. Regarding armor protection, both helicopters are equipped with armored panels to protect the crew. The LCH Prachan can withstand hits from small arms and heavy machine guns, while the T-129 Atak also features crashworthy seats and self-sealing fuel tanks to reduce the risk of explosions. Both helicopters offer robust protection, but the T-129 attacks additional safety features provide an extra layer of security. Additionally, the LCH Prachand is indeed designed specifically for India's mountainous borders. Its high-altitude performance capabilities make it exceptionally well-suited for operations in the challenging terrain of the Himalayas. In contrast, the T-129 attack caters to a wider range of terrains. It is designed to be versatile, capable of performing in diverse environments, from deserts to forests and urban areas, making it a more general-purpose attack helicopter compared to the specialized LCH Prachand. When determining a clear winner between the LCH Prachand and the T-129 Atak, it largely depends on the specific operational environment. The LCH Prachand excels in high-altitude, mountainous terrains and is tailored for India's unique geographical challenges. Its design, weapon systems, and sensor technologies are optimized for such conditions, giving it a clear edge in those environments. On the other hand, the T-129 Atak is a versatile platform capable of performing well across a wide range of environments, making it suitable for diverse combat scenarios. Therefore, the choice of which helicopter is superior depends on the specific mission requirements and operational contexts faced by the respective armed forces. In conclusion, both the LCH Prachand and the T-129 Atak are exceptional helicopters with their own strengths and specialties. The decision on which helicopter is better suited will ultimately depend on the specific needs and operational environments of the missions they are deployed in. That's all for today. If you found this comparison informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more comparison videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.